Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is another Transformers toy review. Today we're taking a look at Coronation Starscream. This is from the Transformers the movie and this is from the um, RED toy line. So it's the uh, it stands for Robot Enhanced Design. Um, I did a, a quick preview the other day but um, this is basically their non-transforming figure line which I'm not sure if they're going to be continuing on with. They kind of announced kind of waves one and two figures um, and then Super 7 sort of came out and said they were doing a similar thing um, in a slightly different scale. So I've no idea if this is going to continue to go on. I do have the first wave, so I've got Megatron and Soundwave and Optimus to compare against. I've also got Bumblebee to review. Um, so a few interesting things to look at in terms of scale, certainly when you're taking a look at comparing wave one and two and some of the kind of build options and things like that as well. Um, interestingly enough, when you kind of take it out of the packaging, it, it comes with this kind of like um, backing here, which is like, like a, a scan of of Starscream here and all his parts, which is pretty cool. I, I quite like that. Um, I showed off the packaging in, in the preview, which is pretty nice. He comes with a whole load of accessories. Um, he comes with this cape, which is cloth. Uh, that looks really nice. I think that's a, a good idea rather than have a plastic one. So we'll take a look at that when it's on. Um, you come with these kind of shoulder pads, which is part of his coronation thing. So you get two of those. Um, you come with his crown. Uh, this is made of soft plastic. So you, mine, this bit here was a little bit crunched in. So you may have to move it around. It looks like it's set in kind of this kind of gold plastic with the red bits painted. Um, it looks pretty good. And we'll take a look at that and see how it goes on. You get a couple of alternate hands. Uh, the problem with this is it looks like it's been slightly bent in the packaging. Either that or his fingers are supposed to bend back like that. But uh, it's kind of got an open clasped hand on both of these like that and, uh, and they kind of rotate around move around like that they rotate in there as well now they probably rotate actually in the socket itself and he comes with the two closed fists as well and he comes with a couple of blast effects so these are new blast effects and they're pretty good um different to what you've seen with the kind of siege line but very much inspired by that and it's kind of set in this um kind of purple plastic which kind of starts off solid and then becomes a little bit lighter towards the end um i think that's the case anyway i don't know if it's just my eyes playing tricks on me but it certainly looks that way and uh you can just pop that on the end of his blasters like that the blasters actually clip on here uh, it's not the best connections just fits on like that um, and then you can <laughs> hopefully you can get his arm right so you can have him shooting at something something like that um, but it isn't this isn't a great connection. It just kind of pegs in there. Um, and the blast effect is a little bit heavy, so it does kind of weigh it down a little bit. Uh, and that really gets to where I'm going to talk about kind of the build and things on this. So straight out of the box, or I'll drop that bit. Um, so that bit actually clips on here. Uh, looks like I've lost the bit on the other side. So that will be down on the floor somewhere, I expect. Um, you better not be missing a bit, otherwise I'll be a bit knocked off. Um, where is that? So it's not in any of the packaging. I can see. Oh, that's very unusual. Uh, from what I can see, um, he's actually missing that bit which is really weird. Um, I took him straight out of the packaging. 
and it's nowhere here so I can only assume it doesn't <laughs> it's missing this side piece um, which is kind of annoying but um, in terms of symmetry I'll just take this bit off as you saw it did actually come out now he looks really good um, there is some nice paint done on him you see even the blasters are set in grey plastic but they've got these kind of black paint towards the end here the face looks great really good face sculpt nice paint on here paint in here as well all along here um, the colors are nice this kind of dark gray that they've gone with and the paint apps on here are pretty good as well blue and gray all the painting is pretty good all around uh, the only issue there is on the thrusters like i'm not sure if that's a mistake or not it seems to be on the same bit so i don't know if that's supposed to be like a blast effect or not so one of my main issues is these kind of like hinge pieces that they've put in here and they seem to be set in like a soft plastic so they're softer than than the plastic around it so when you come to move it like in its in its packaging sometimes they kind of come a little bit um misaligned to there like at an angle so you have to bend them back in but it does also mean they're not really sturdy so you have to put a bit of pressure on them to get them in the right place so this is double jointed arm but you kind of feel like you could you know put like stress joints on these by doing those you see look, there's a little mark in there um in here again you get all this excess plastic in here which isn't on the other side so that's not great look at all that excess that's on that side so you know articulation is great i mean you can move the arms all the way out to there and they move down and around these wing pieces kind of come out to the side like that um, and you can kind of move them up and down as well so that's a nice bit of articulation um, you do get waist articulation there and also an ab crunch as well because this piece here kind of moves a little bit with it which is really nice and the head rotates all the way around and you can get up you can get down and you know can't really you can get a little bit of confused star screen but not so great so you can see what i mean when i'm pushing it down here this piece here you know it's you have to hold it in a certain place because that bit's bendy in here so there is that double jointed elbow but you have to kind of hold it in the right place to try and get that going and some of these joints are stiff so this bit here around here is a little bit stiff so you have to hold this bit here in order to not put pressure on it so there you go so you can then move it so there's parts that are a little bit stiff and the other parts that are a little bit loose on them so the legs um they go up to about there uh back to there so it's just on a on a ball peg there which is fine comes out to there and um, you get a cut in here for articulation uh, but again because of the plastic they've used it kind of doesn't feel like an ex like here's really close and then here's like feels like there's a bit of a, a gap in here it just feels like a and again this joint here is softer plastic so you've got a bend in there but then you have to move that around as well so you just have to be careful it's actually getting a little bit better now i've had out of packaging but um first time out it's like feels like really awkward um i mentioned all the nice paint here the sculpting is pretty basic but it it's you know it's definitely star scream the feet move from side to side here forward there back to there so you get a bit of a tilt and the toe moves forward and back uh nothing in this piece here although these thrusters feel like they should move and you do have pegs so you could peg certain things into them so i guess if you're able to get like a um oh no i was gonna say if but they're the wrong sh shape if they plugged in there you could have have them you know if you had a flight stand you could have them fly with boosters coming out of there um yeah so that's unfortunate so yeah you can swap the hands out so as an example here one of the things they've got pictures on the back here is him 
with kind of his hand like that, his wing out like that, and kind of that, kind of his arm out like that as if he's blasting someone. So again, this piece here, so you can kind of get him a bit out like that and you can do it and it, that does work. Um, again, this doesn't quite connect in as well as it should do in my opinion. Um, yes, yeah, so that's unfortunate. And then you've got all the other accessories, which look to be pretty good. Um, so let's try off this first of all. So this should fit on the top like that. So that's a pretty good fit. Um, now, in terms of the other accessories, these bits can actually come off. So it might make it easier when doing it. That's obviously the, the view from the back. So pretty good. Um, and it looks as if they peg on by these notches on here. So I think the best way to do it is going to be to actually put these through here first and then onto the back here like that. Um, it doesn't actually say anywhere. I, don't, I can't see that there's any kind of instructions or anything with it. Um, so yeah, this is a little bit fiddly. Right, so that's on there like that. I suppose I better move it around like that. I suppose what you can do and then just line that up. And then push that over that shoulder. So again, because this bit's kind of in the way, you're kind of putting pressure on this in the wrong place. Um, I feel like this should be really a piece that kind of clips over it instead. If I bring this round here, that's probably a better way of doing it. But again, it doesn't quite feel right. And I've already knocked that other one off. So that one's in. Let's try and get the other one in without uh, totally wrecking it. Again, it's that softer plastic on here. All right, so we've got these two pieces on. Um, I think then you can have to move this cape a little bit underneath to then try and get his wing pieces back on. Like that, like that. And peg those wing pieces back in there. You can kind of move these up here just to allow the the flag to. Um, I've got them in the wrong side. Just to allow them to flow a little better. And these wings again, they're like really soft plastic as well. Um, so yeah, I guess you know they're not going to break, but. They're super bendy. I'll see any trouble that. So again, I just just think some of the materials they use for this just not not the best in my opinion. So then pop this back on. And there you've got your coronation star scream. Try and 
try and get him in a kind of decent sort of pose. Which again, this leg here just feels a little bit wobbly. So I think, yeah, he looks pretty good on display, but um, you know, if you're gonna kind of play around with him, I didn't function, function ugh, functionally, I don't think he works that well. Um, yeah, the cape looks good and everything else, but it's like real fiddly. Again, yeah, you can get all these on, but then even then, all of this kind of kind of gets in the way. Look, it's a job to actually fit these on. In actual fact, they probably fit on a little bit better on here because there's this bit here to kind of hold it in in the way a little bit more. But yeah, he looks pretty good in that mode. The other thing I want to show you is actual scale. So in my opinion, I don't think this scales very well with the other figures in the line, which there are only three figures in. So um, this is why I ask, are they, you know, how seriously are they taking this? Are they just doing this as a bit of a, a test and then moving on to something else? I'm really not sure. So obviously Starscream's a bit bulked up because he's got those bits on all the extra bits on here but even without that um so let's bring in megatron um which is by far the best piece in here so far look he's bigger than megatron <laughs> i mean that's, but you know for the same figure they're supposed to be all the same scale so i've got no idea what they're thinking in terms of scale there is that I mean, this great if it looks like this figure looks great and this figure looks great, but the scale's all wrong. Um, it's so annoying. You think you know, this, these are all supposed to be in line with each other, so so like all the figures might not be, um, in scale with each other, maybe. But they should be in scale as in the same height at least or like have them all the same height even if say like um you've got um cliff jumper that should be bigger than wheel jack but then the same same if you do them the same like these that you had them the same size but starscream obviously isn't bigger than soundwave or megatron which is just annoying that they've done it like this um you know it's a really difficult one in terms of recommendations um i don't know if this figure is like this quality wise for everyone or whether or not i'm just unlucky with this particular one but uh, in my opinion unless you're really into kind of just want him on display with the cape and everything else like that I think it's an easy, I think it's probably going to be a skip, to be honest with you. Like I said, unless you're really into these accessories, which are pretty cool. But, you know, for the price, I think the quality just isn't there. And with him not scaling with these other figures, that's a big no from me. I'm going to take a look at Bumblebee as well. Um, and from looking in the box, I can tell straight away there's some scale issues. So it's really annoying because if you're going to go in for this line, you want it to all look the same and display next to each other. If they're all out of scale with each other, I can't see who's going to want to collect them. But yes, I'm really split on this because he looks really cool, but quality wise, it's just not there. Well, it is in some places, like the paint's really good. It's just the the build on some of these kind of connecting joints which just isn't isn't right they've kind of picked the wrong materials so again it just kind of goes down to material for me um anyway sorry for the uh long rant uh that's it for now guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye for now